done fantastic today. The prize fund is definitely sort of 70, 80 quid already because he's sold 150 tickets, I think. So, well done, Christian. If he's injured for our next season, then uh, we will got a new job for him. Okay, so um, those that were here earlier on, you heard Tammy, it was great to, to have her back. She supported the event last year and uh, once again has, um, has supported us this year. So thanks to Tammy, you can find her on Twitter there. There is her Twitter address if you are on Twitter. Okay, so just the plan for today, so everyone knows what, uh, what we'll be doing. Very shortly I'll just call up Rod, who will just give a chairman's welcome. And then we'll have a club update and season review. Of course, the awards of the afternoon, and then the rest of the afternoon, you're welcome to stay around and uh, network with the players and, of course, watch the football. Okay, so without further ado, just like to call upon Rod Woodward, Chairman, Stafford Rangers. Thank you very much, Stuart. Uh, if I'm, I'm just extend Stuart's welcome, <clears throat> and, and clearly, um, what a fabulous turnout. Uh, I know that in a few minutes there's going to be uh, Stuart and, and Greg give us a, a season's review. Uh, but I must first say that my first year as chairman at the club, it's been a pleasure to be involved with Stafford Rangers Limited. And let's hope we go from strength to strength. I'll hand you back to Stuart now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rod. Okay, so a bit of a commercial update. Obviously, I look after the commercial department, so where are we Where are we sitting? As you know, I've been involved for the last two years at the club now, year-on-year year figures. At the end of the, the current football season, we were about £2,000 up where we were at this time last year, so very pleased with that. If we look at the social club bookings, Tony and his team have done a wonderful job here, and year-on-year, um, year, they're trading about £30,000 up, which is fantastic, so well done to Tony and the team. Round of applause for them. Hopefully you've all been on the receiving end of our increased communication with, with the fans and uh, sponsors through our social media, through Facebook, through Twitter, and also through our website as well. Hopefully you now know that they are the official channels and that's where to go if you're looking for official news of Stafford Rangers. We also revamped the... Sorry, <laughs> had to smile. <laughs> Do you want a casual one? <laughs> Is that for your own use as well, John? I noticed you weren't taking that with your camera, it was on your phone. <laughs> Whatever, John. Whatever. Anyone else like a photo of me whilst I'm up here? Too late, already done. Uh, okay, we also revamped the match day programme as well. And uh, we uh, uh, will be looking at it again for next season. And we have plenty of media coverage, whether that be through the Evo Stick website, which some of you may go on to, through our local press. Some may read my boring articles in the newsletter and the Express and Star each week. And of course, we've had great support from the radio stations, Stafford FM and XL FM, throughout the season. And hope that uh, Gary and his team at XL FM will continue to support us throughout next season. We've also um, monitored a lot of the stats as well throughout our match days so that we can review what we're doing this season to make it better again for next season. So looking at the average price per person coming through the gate, also looking at how many programmes we sell so that we can only order in the, the right number of programmes. Sorry, I'll shut up. Hold on. Okay, uh, we also had some great feedback from our visitors and our guests as well. Um, so some that I thought I'd share with you that you may not have been um, privy to. So a massive thank you to everyone at Stafford Rangers helping make our special day even more special. Um, I'd also like to say how impressed I was with the hospitality show recently. I've been watching and following the borough for over 50 years and have seen the highs and the lows. And when I reflected on the kindness shown, it's made us realise that perhaps it's all been worth it. Thank you again and may your enthusiasm carry us to new highs and look forward to um, some forthcoming glory days at Stafford Rangers. Short note to let you know how much we enjoyed last night. Many thanks for your hospitality. I'd like to thank Stafford Rangers for the recent match hospitality. It was a thoroughly enjoyable evening and greatly appreciated. It means a lot to me to feel part of a club, and although things do not go the way on the pitch, it's encouraging to see that recent changes have taken place both on and off the field. Thank you again, and keep up the good work. And then finally, a nice comment which I really wanted to share with everybody um, was from a, um, a, a scout that came along. He wanted to express his gratitude to everybody affiliated with this terrific club. The level of friendliness and hospitality was comfortably the best that he has experienced this season, and that includes under-21 games at Premier League stadiums, League 2, Blue Square Prem, North and South. 
Indeed, it's the first time in two years that this person felt necessary to write such an email and appreciate how welcoming everybody was at the club. Many clubs at a similar or high levels could certainly do with taking a leaf out of your book. The people involved are a credit to your club and I wish you the best of luck for the rest of the season and hope the club experiences glory in the near future to restore you a more rightful position in the non-league structure, which I thought was superb. So well done, everybody. Okay, so, um, obviously our sponsors are hugely important to us. We've had another wonderful season. It's nice to see some of our sponsors here. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to come up uh, uh, along this afternoon. But our sponsors really do make it all possible for us. Everything we do makes my job a lot easier when they say yes and also when they pay me. So thank you very much indeed. It, it really is um, appreciated. We, we hope that we can continue to work with all of our sponsors throughout next season and a number already have committed um, and as many of you may have either seen on the website or in the press articles, it's been fantastic that Stan Robinson Limited have once again decided to continue with their sponsorship for the 13-14 season. And uh, we, we're greatly um, appreciative of that to Flo, Pauline, Mark and of course the Robinson family. So I don't, I don't think anyone is here, but we really are appreciate, uh, appreciative of that. So um, we look forward to seeing the Stan Robinson name and the legacy living on there on the Stafford Rangers top for 13-14. Okay, so I mean, in summary, we, we said at the start when I, when I got involved two years ago, we were looking to stabilise the club. We were looking for that continued stability and professionalism, and hopefully that you will see that the club is moving forward. Hopefully you'll see that we have stabilised and that we are becoming more professional day by day. I hope that you'll agree we've improved from last season. We do take great pride in reviewing what we've done in the seasons before and seeing how we can improve. We had a meeting last week to see how we could change things ready for next season and already looking forward to it. We've received the most fantastic home and away support this season as well. So um, thank you to the fans around and about that have really made the difference both at Marston Road and on the travels. So if we just quickly review the, the last nine months, um, we started, as some of you may know, last August, yeah, nine, ten months ago in the, with our new strip there, where Midland Loft Company sponsored the training kit, and of course the new strip from Royale, sponsored by Stan Robinson there. We also then looked at our coach providers, so we went out to tender for our uh, official team and for the away travel, and we saved over £2,500 just by putting that out to tender. Now, unfortunately, as many of you may know, Proctor's coaches unfortunately ceased to trade as of the 31st of March, and Leon's kindly stepped in for us to provide the last four away coaches in April, which we were grateful for. Next season, again, we will put it, of course, out to tender. Once all the clubs have been confirmed in the league, we will put the coach contract out for tender and look at the best business solution for, for that, um, reviewing everything, not just on price, but just making sure it's right for the team. I suppose at this time it would be great just to uh, thank Spoonie as well, wherever he is, Spoonie. Thank you, Spoonie, at the end, for arranging the support for coaches. It started on a, a great high, um, the first away game of the season, where we saw a coach pulling up with 48 people on at Roaster, uh, which seems a, a long time ago. And um, I think this season we also had two times where we took two coaches as well. I know you were, uh, we filed, and I think, did we do one to FC United as well? Did we do two coaches there? can't remember, but I'm sure you've done two coaches, but it's fantastic. I think the majority of games have had a, a coach, uh, an away supporters coach, so thanks Spoonie, and of course the, the supporters for, for taking the, um, uh, the offer up there. Uh, we launched the new supporters club as well, we've got 24 members currently, and it has made £150 profit already for the club, and the supporters have had benefits from that. Um, so thanks to LG, Mark and Steve, who all had input into the supporters club. We of course wanted to remember Stan in a way that we could, so we renamed the Borough Suite the Stan Robinson Suite and officially opened that in October when Flo, Paulie, Mark and the family came down and um, it, his name will still live on, a legacy that we all obviously want to remember here at the club. 
We've done many events as well throughout the whole season. So we've done the town parade where Bobby the Badger has gone out with kids and uh, um, uh, Pamela and, the, and uh, uh, Neil is in there as well. And of course we got involved with the King Edward football tournaments as well for the second year running where Greg went down on two Tuesdays in October and presented the award to the winners and the winners then came as our guests to a match um, in the season. So it's great to get involved with the local footballing community there. We also did the mascot race as well, which was at Utoxita Racecourse. Unfortunately, Wayne, who plays Bobby the Badger, is not here today, but he did come a respectable eighth in the, uh, um, in the race. Um, however, Billy the Brewer from Burton Albion was just too fast for him. But um, it was great. We do have another mascot race coming up later this year as well, which I know Wayne's looking forward to. We also had our second bowling evening as well, which was a great fun evening. More attendees than the previous year. And Danny then 